What's going on YouTube? Hit a Mac making into the brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Digibyte to BTC. We're also going to be looking at the coin market cap and two articles for today's episode. We're gonna be looking at Litecoin Foundation partnering with Glory Kickboxing to make Litecoin League's official crypto. Very interesting, we're gonna to have to check that out. And then lastly, uh, the last article we're gonna do is cryptocurrency miners are making millions for doing absolutely nothing. So this is out there for all the, you know, the the cryptocurrency miners that watch the channel uh, i have some questions for you so um otherwise if any of that sounds interesting to you guys make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up if you like the content and want to see more otherwise let's jump into today's episode So guys, really quick before I jump into the uh, coin market cap, I just want to make like a public service announcement. Guys, I uh, am a little backed up right now. I have a lot of companies that are coming uh, and messaging me and emailing me with my personal email. You can find it in the description. And they're kind of wanted to set up a partnership of some sort. I have uh, a couple big surprises in the next upcoming weeks that you don't want to miss out on. Um, a lot of big partnerships, a lot of big collaborations. It's pretty awesome. Guys, if you are a business relevant to cryptocurrency and you do want to do some sort of promotion we could definitely work something out make sure to check out that email um, but we're gonna have a couple really cool um, projects coming to the channel so I definitely wanted to just update you guys on that but um, otherwise let's jump into today's episode also I'm going to the Arnold's on Thursday Thursday afternoon as well as Friday and Saturday so there should be a video out Thursday and there should be a video out Saturday night as for Friday I'm gonna try really hard and to do my best to get a video out for you guys but if you don't and if i don't i'll at least have some sort of live stream and let you guys see what's happening at the arnold's it's in ohio so shout out to anyone who lives currently in ohio this will be at the greater columbus convention center but otherwise uh top 10 cryptocurrencies uh checking out this market cap actually very 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 similar to yesterday this is definitely raising uh somewhat of a concern uh market cap though is slightly higher 24 hour volume is lower we are at 27 now at 24 bitcoin dominance 52 percent staying fairly similar looking at these top 10 cryptos guys we do seem to have semi of a mix um, more so three out of the 10 are doing uh, negative they're in the red but the seven out of the 10 are up in the green positive but if you notice there's really not much of a difference in the price from the green to the red you can see that there is uh, Bitcoin barely up barely holding green up 0.02 Ethereum up 0.8 EOS 1.25 Litecoin 0.26 we're really not seeing much of a you know wide array of prices most of the coins are in a consolidation phase some coins yes like pundi are up 16 theta again up 17.9 percent but most of these coins are pretty much just seeing a consolidation uh there are some outliers abbc coin very interesting up 23 percent engine coin down 14 we have safe down 45 percent uh, some very interesting tokens. Let me know if you've heard of any of these before. Definitely a very wide stretch. Cubita up 13, but you know, it's market cap at 37 million is, is a decent amount, but compared to, you know, looking at the coins out of the top 10 when we have 67 billion, 37 million is actually quite a small amount. So it doesn't really impact the market that much. Uh, but otherwise, uh, before we jump into the articles, guys, if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet signed up for the Abra Exchange, they're doing a promotion. You can get $25 of free Bitcoin off your first sign up and $5 deposit. Check it out. We've had over 80 plus people take advantage of that. It's the second link in the description. But furthermore, moving on, guys, to this article for a discussion today. So Litecoin, guys, as we know, as you can see, I'm repping the Litecoin. Uh, gotta hodl them all. Let me know if you know what this is. It's Pokemon. Um, actually, there's a Pokemon movie coming out too. Pretty interesting. Just a side note. But um, Litecoin Foundation partnering with this Glory Kickboxing to make uh, Litecoin League's official crypto. So I'm not sure what it is, but they've partnered with uh, Kickboxing. We've also partnered with you know uh, UFC. So very interesting to see that kind of niche that they're targeting for whatever reason but uh very interesting uh litecoin seems to be doing tons of partnerships and sponsorships with companies they're really trying to push that public mass adoption you know that crypto really needs and the fact that litecoin's really getting out there is huge for this market so i did want to just jump into that that was news for today basically this litecoin foundation that hopefully you guys know i am a partner of i am uh involved with the east coast litecoin foundation it's huge it's awesome we really try to push uh, you know, 
a mass adoption and public retail investors to accept cryptocurrency as payment. You know, I did make a video on that in terms of the uh, Lamborghini, which I will be doing over the summer. But um, Litecoin Foundation partnering with the premier kickboxing league glory to become the official crypto for its online merchandise and international events. So I definitely see what they're doing. It's similar to like this dot com bubble. Um, they're now doing like, I guess, a crypto bubble. Uh, who can accept the payments quicker? I don't see why they can't just uh, accept all the currencies as payment. But whatever the reason is, the fact that they are accepting that as a payment, you know, will drive up transactions and that in the most part will push up the price of crypto and specifically Litecoin. Glory, which has signed top kickboxing heavyweight, including Dutch lumberjack Peter Ertz, the Remy Bon and Remy Bonjaski, aka the Flying Gentleman, will integrate Litecoin into its online merchandise store, GloryShop.com. Interesting name. The league will also allow fans in the United States and Europe to use the cryptocurrency to purchase various Litecoin exclusive and event related privileges. These include athlete meet and greets, backstage arena tours, and premium in error in arena seating. So that's actually really interesting and pretty cool. Charlie Leaf, the founder of the Litecoin Foundation, gave his perspective on the partnership's potential to drive crypto adoption. Glory has a growing worldwide fan base that consists in a large part of a younger demographic who are adopters of technology and conduct much of their lives online. Very true. From consuming content to purchasing products, tapping into their global audience and educating them about Litecoin through the real world use cases can be powerful. Very true. The fact, so I guess I can see where they're going at, what they're targeting. They're targeting, targeting the uh, millennials my age and younger uh, to start using cryptocurrency as a payment system. System, which is very interesting because I do know, you know, to have an exchange, I believe you have to be 18 years older uh, to have that. So that's kind of contradicting. But, you know, even then the 18, 19, 20 year olds, you know, those are huge markets to target to. What's interesting, though, is my channel and the people that actually watch my videos seem to be, you know, in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s and higher. Some sometimes, you know, high 20s, too. But it's a very interesting market. They're really trying to tap into that um, untapped, you know, millennial market so I, I see what they're doing you know the kickboxing league was founded in 2012 and is operated by glory sports international hosting a mix of disciplines karate muay thai taekwondo kickboxing boxing maintaining offices in los angeles denver amsterdam singapore glory's media cover coverage reportedly spans over 200 worldwide territories so the partnership with the litecoin determines that the cryptocurrency will receive exposure you know, all over the world. It will be broadcasted on social media and the press release dates. So very interesting to see that, you know, this Litecoin glory venture brings uh, to crypto with established ind industry clout into the global sports arena. So they're really targeting the sports uh, arena for crypto. Very interesting. It says in December of 2018, Brazilian Premier League Soccer Club launched an Ethereum based flat pegged utility fan token, Galocoin, named after Atletico mascot, a rooster. So very interesting. So they made a cryptocurrency. So I, I kind of see where they're doing. I kind of see what they're pushing competition for uh, for Ethereum. And then I'll wrap things up for the article side before we jump into the TA. But uh, how many of you guys are cryptocurrency miners? That's the question for today. I really want to know how many of you guys uh, mine cryptocurrency. That's definitely a whole other space to crypto people that mine. And um, if there are some of you guys out there, uh, either send me a uh, video on my Instagram link is also in the description, or send it to my business email pictures videos, I'd love to see it. And uh, if you guys want, I can shout you guys out on the channel. Uh, but I'd love to see these mining rigs that you have if you want to explain it in your video, whatever it is that you want to do, definitely make sure to send that over to me and I'll and we'll have some content for you and uh, some publicity for you on uh, the next uh, episode so that'd be really cool definitely interested in the miners out there who watch uh, crypto TV but the latest issue of dire points out that the Bitcoin miners and other crypto miners have made tens of millions of dollars without processing a single transaction so the major proof-of-work blockchains Bitcoin Ethereum Litecoin Dash etc have earned excess of 18 billion dollars Bitcoin cash miners have earned just under 1 billion since the fork um, so basically in total let's talk about Litecoin Litecoin apparently has the most empty blocks due to the network under 
under utero, utilization, sorry, uh, and a faster block time. Litecoin boasts a two minute block time. Every two minutes, a new block is targeted for mining. The actual time varies uh, greatly based on the difficulty of mining. However, Litecoin miners often mine extremely light blocks. So block, I guess, uh, this is 1,586,699, for example, from Tuesday, has just three transactions, totally less than one Litecoin. However, uh, the block pays out 25 Litecoins in mining reward. So meaning the miner earned more than $1,000 to process uh, less than $50. If you consider the miner reward to be the network transaction fee, the cost of the network as a whole, this is extreme. The fiat world has no analog to this. Uh, the 10 blocks later, this reporter just happened to note an empty block. This means the miner earned over $1,000 for processing zero transactions. So is this true guys uh, to the miners out there? Have you mined Litecoin? Do you mine Litecoin? If so, let me know down in the comments below. Definitely email me. If you want it to be personal, love to hear it. But on that note, we are going to jump into Litecoin price and discuss what exactly is going on right now. So uh, yesterday, you know, for those who are on Patreon, who want access to all my links or, or all my charts, it's in the description. But basically, guys, we saw I did draw another uptrend and it seems to be holding quite firm. Now, I do want to shift our focus to the four hour charts to get a better gander of things. And wow, that is actually very interesting. So you guys can see really quick here what exactly is going on. So we are definitely caught up with this high low MMA uh, on the four hour. Uh, very good actually on the RSI, but with this sideways movement, we're on a slight uptrend. You know, we seem to be hugging this red band and using it for you know drastic support causing some sort of ascending triangle now, now this is not the only currency doing this on the markets today and i'll show you guys that later in today's episode so we're on this uptrend trading up upwards we have a resistance at 46 dollars, but we're kind of tangled in and congested with the green and red band. So we really gonna have to see what's going on. We do have the potential to break through the ascending triangle and break through the $46. It's just a matter of when. Uh, we really have to get above this green band right now that we're seemingly just trying to, you know, break through at this current moment. Uh, so we're gonna have to battle this out. You know, we could break bearish. And if we do, a $39 fall is possible and like i said if we fall to 36 that's when i'm buying in that's when i'm dollar cost averaging that'll be the perfect opportunity to buy in so i'm definitely paying close attention to these charts because at 44 dollars we're very tied in neck and neck with this high low mma on its four hour so it does give me a lot of you know concern as to where this price plans to go lastly um or secondly looking at bitcoin on its daily as I jump in, as you guys just saw, that was the major weekly, you know, descending triangle that we've all been watching. Uh, but as of right now, we're going to have to just check out Bitcoin on its daily. And as you guys can see, we're definitely in some sort of consolidation We're we're, we're stuck in a channel. You can see a lot of congestion here, tons of congestion here. And we're trading out sideways. So it's very interesting to see what exactly this is going to do. I do think we're going to bounce potentially off the bottom. We could go as low as $3,600, but we're getting very, very, very close to the end of this downtrend and then finally retest this descending triangle. And that will be huge for the market. Once we retest that green and red band and the downtrend, a major, major, major phenomenon will happen. And we're either going to break, you know, huge boundaries and shoot up at a very fast pace, or we're going to break down. So if we consolidate out for the rest of the uh, the month, I would not be surprised in the slightest. Lastly, out of the top three blue chip cryptocurrencies, we have Ethereum, which is huge. Uh, very interesting pattern taking place here. You know, can I drag this up? I did discuss this in yesterday yesterday's video i think not once again um i mean i could move it down here it doesn't look about right so i am going to just bring this right over here you can see that there is some sort of ascending triangle potentially forming here but you can see this is one two three three days of rejection right now from its green band on ethereum's daily we do look okay in terms of its high low mma 54 plenty of potential to move up higher but we're definitely seeing some sort of resistance at that green band so it's possible if it's either we're going to break through the green band and get stuck in the channel like we did previously hopefully not entering an overbought market 
or if we don't break through, which it seems like we may not because the one, two, this is now three, you know, candles of resistance of negative pressure, we could potentially fall all the way down to 122, 121. So be prepared, guys. Uh, there definitely is something coming and uh, I'm just trying to figure out what it is. Lastly, we're going to check out Digibyte. As you can see, massive weekly decent, uh, symmetrical triangle forming. Do you want to jump in really quick to its daily charts and then we'll wrap up today's episode. I also want to pull up its Hello MMA, there we go, beautiful. And as you guys can see, very interesting. So I do wanna check out its four hour really quick. Interesting, so we're not yet overbought. We are above its high low MMA, which looks very nice. And as you can see, we're back now above, we're back in this symmetrical triangle, that's also huge. Uh, we're nearing overbought on its month on its four hour we're also nearing overbought even closer on its daily which is kind of uh, making me a little nervous uh so hopefully if we can close today's candle actually above this uh symmetrical triangle we may continue to move up you can see here where we've had support previously one two three four five six seven eight nine ten T tons of days guys over weeks of support you can see yesterday's video I mean, yesterday we managed to break bullish through it. That was awesome. And today we had a huge wick forming right now. Really not seeing much price movement back to where we started from. As long as we can hold this uptrend and close today's candle there, and if anything, close today's candle inside this high low MMA, we may get potential to slowly start to ride this up. The scary part is we're nearing overbought, so that is semi of an indication we may need to pull back down. It'd be unfortunate if we break through, but if we do, we're definitely gonna fall all the way back down to the yellow line. But otherwise, guys, that's gonna sum up today's episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up if you like the content, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Peace.